So, uh, hello, uh, my name is Ryan, or Road Trip Ryan, and uh, this is uh, my first uh, Road Trip Ryan video where I uh, show you guys do what I do on my road trips. And uh, I left Phoenix last night on a 10 day roadie, and this is my first stop. We're going to look for some Bonneville Cutthroat. And that's our first one, a little Bonneville Cutthroat. A little juvenile. Get back in there. All right, so I've caught a few already. One of the good things about small streams is uh, camouflage, you know what I mean? Spooky trout, small confined areas, they can see you. I've already busted a couple little ones, spooked a few others, but uh, hoping to get into something right here. All right, there's a better one. So these bonnies are really aggressive and they will hop out of your net if you don't watch them. These guys are aggressive. They're hiding out right in those branches. Knocked out about four out of there. It's a beautiful canyon. Been coming here for years. All right. These bonnies are beautiful. They got some different colors. Let me look at this guy. Gold cheeks. Look at those cheeks. All the way down. Pretty nice fish hanging under that branch. Pulled him out of there with about that much leader. Hopefully I got it on the camera. Had a good morning, already knocked out like 15, 20. Beautiful canyon, I love it here. Uh, me and my dog Max used to come here. A lot of good memories. Uh, always about halfway to Idaho. All right, so how do I catch these fish? Well, basically I have my little streamer. It's got a 
tungsten bead on it so it's really heavy. Sometimes I'll even tie some lead weight into it just to get it to drop really quick. And it's, and it's a small olive streamer with some flash, uh, maybe size 12, I, ca I call them a micro streamer. But uh, if you look at, what I do is I find some slack water right there and then I just dance it around. Oh, there was a one, there was a strike. So there's my streamer. It's really beat up. Let's see if we can try this again. Almost. Just dance it around. Ah, oh, missing them. Trying to record and fish at the same time is hard. Just keep dancing them. All right, so uh, yeah, I guess if you're trying to do the Utah cutthroat uh, or yeah, trout challenge or whatever, um, I knocked a lot of this stuff off before any of that stuff happened. So I've been going back and forth uh, from Boise and back for the last like 24 years, and and I've always fished along the way and and found different species and tried to track down as many as I could and and uh, you know over the years I've just gotten to know so many places that I I have a million different spots that I can stop in between here and there and uh, I think one time I got 11 different species um, but this one right here is I mean it's a good way to start Bonneville Cuddies uh, probably caught 20 of them it's super fun uh, they'll take just about anything uh, you know Come and give it a try right here in the middle of Utah, Clear Creek, Fremont State Park.